back to your very first crush. I'm talking about the one that you were goofy head over heels in love with. Think back to the excitement. Think back to what it felt like just to have a crush. My first crush, well, besides Joe McIntyre from New Kids on the Block. Um, so my first crush was a guy named Jason Bruce. I will literally probably die of embarrassment if he sees this. Now, what makes my first crush funny is that I was 12 and Jason Bruce was 17. Yes, he was a senior in high school and I was in the seventh grade. Uh, Y'all may remember my mom taught at the high school, so I was all, taught French at the high school. So I was always at the high school. And Jason Bruce has the bluest eyes. I mean, they are Joe Mack color, y'all. Oh my Lord. Y'all know I'm all or nothing. I would call his house and hang up. I would beg my mom and dad to let me sit in the balcony in church because Jason was in the balcony. I would go to all the basketball games, baseball games. I would write his initials like in mustard on my hamburger. Oh my gosh. So think back to that kind of crush. It was all or nothing, right? And it was exciting and it was fun. But that's kind of what a first crush is, right? You don't know how it's supposed to feel. You think, oh, this is the one. Everything from here on out will make more sense if you remember that madness. We spend a lot of time trying to find our match, right? And not even just our, our mate, but we spend a lot of time trying to find our match with friend groups. We spend a lot, of, I mean, I, I've, I've lived in 18 different houses, right? Or 18 different houses and eight, I've moved 18 different times. And so imagine trying to find a match and people to hang out with 18 different times. I mean, holy cow, at some point you're just like, I give up. Okay, I'm not starting over. We put a lot of energy into finding our match and that is, there's a whole psychological thing I could go down to, go down the road here too, but I won't. It's Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? What's the top, top, top of that pyramid? We need to belong, right? And so, we don't think a whole lot about finding our match in business. We just are like, we declare to the world, I'm quitting my job, I'm starting a business, I'm putting up my website, and customers are gonna come. And that doesn't happen, does it? I wish it did, but it doesn't happen. And so we do a little bit of the customer avatar exercise, which I guess is about finding your match, but not really. I mean, no disrespect to the customer avatar exercise, but I did that thing 7,000 times, probably close to that literally. And is that about finding my match? I don't know. There are all these things we can do to find our match, but what does it feel like as you are looking for your match? That's what I want you to think about right now. Well, what did it feel like when I was calling Jason Bruce's house and hanging up? I was having so much fun writing his initials in mustard or ketchup or whatever. What did it feel like when I thought I was going to marry Joe McIntyre. Oh my gosh, y'all. I had a blast dreaming about that. And so on and so on and so on. But in business, finding our match feels hard. It doesn't feel fun. The customer avatar exercise doesn't feel fun. The get to know your customer. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, let's move on. So in February, we're going to talk about finding your match. We're going to talk about... French kissing, because it's the month of love, y'all, your business. We're going to talk about loving the process of finding your match rather than it feeling hard because we want more of what we love and less of what we don't. And I'll tell you right now, I'd much rather French kiss Joe McIntyre from New Kids on the Block than uh, do the customer avatar exercise again. There, I said it. We're going to talk about finding your match in your business. We're going to talk about finding your match on social media. We're gonna talk about finding your match on your customers. We're gonna talk about finding your match money. And at the end of February, you're gonna have a whole new outlook on just how sexy business can be. We're gonna have some fun. But right now, as you prepare to French kiss your business, 
That's just fun to say, y'all. It's just so weird. As you prepare to do that, I'm going to give you some, uh, some, some guideposts, some things to think about. There are a lot of self-proclaimed experts out there telling you what you should do. And it's easy to believe. But I would like for you, doesn't matter what I would like, right? But I would like for, nope, still doesn't matter what I would like. But how about instead of letting everybody tell us what we need, we become our own North Star. We use our guardrail to see, do I really need this? Instead of going to a webinar where we're swearing not to buy anything, I'm not buying anything, I'm just going to the webinar. How about we seek out what we actually need? You don't need another course graveyard, to go in the graveyard. Necessarily. Maybe you do. You don't necessarily need that, right? We're going to learn how to get to the actual problem in your business. So you can go vanilla ice on it. If you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it, right? I mean, I don't, I, I, most people I meet don't need another marketing program. They've taken three to 12, but they don't know how to find their match because they don't know what they're looking for. So we're going to teach you how to find your match. What's the problem? How can you go vanilla ice on it? And at the end of February, you're going to know how to do that. You're going to know how to find your match in money, find your match in pricing, find your match in customers. And all of that is going to feel almost, almost like French Kish and Joe McIntyre, I guess. I don't know. That's how business should feel. Like a crush. We're going to fall in love with our businesses so that people fall in love with you and want to buy from you. No filter required, no shrinking parts of your personality to be who some coach tells you you should be. Let's be you. Let's go get those customers. You ready to find your match? It's going to be fun. I believe in you and I believe in your business.